be into reading. Good. Okay. We're now we're YouTube live. This time we're actually on. Okay. So let's come down to knees. Knees are going to be about as wide as the mat. Tops of the feet on the floor, and they're aimed in toward each other a little bit. So you've got a little out, outer spiral on the leg by bringing the feet in. But try not to have the toes touching, and try to make one straight line all the way from the knee to the toe. So don't sickle the feet a lot. Don't turn the other way. Just one straight line, top to the feet flat. All right, and then from there, elbows down. You're going to put your entire forearm flat on the mat. And bring your elbows wider than the shoulders. Not, maybe not quite as wide as the mat. And make a little triangle with your hands so that your hands are in. So you've got a soft internal spiral in the shoulders. Your elbows should be like two and a half feet in front of the knees. Your elbows are past the shoulders, even when your hips are a little bit past your knees. Okay? Then go ahead and let everything release. Really try to sink down, letting your shoulder blades slide together toward the spine, letting the head rest. Think about pulling the mat apart with your elbows, like elbows are trying to pull sideways, but they're stuck to the mat. Notice you can engage the serratus, the muscles underneath the arms, attached to the sides of the ribs if you do that. Keep the head dropped. Inhale here. As you exhale, elbows pull the mat apart, hands and wrists press down, pick your ribs up into the shoulder blades. Good. Keep the head soft. Chest is going to release when you come back down. Keep letting your chest release so your shoulders come together on your back more. Let the belly hang. You're not flexing low back. You're just hanging into your hip stretch. And then press into the elbows. Pull the mat apart to pull shoulder blades apart off the ribs to bring your ribs up higher. Good. Keep the head dropped. And then drop back down. Let's add some breath with that. Inhale on the way up. Exhale as you come down. Shoulder blades slide together on the back. You really let the chest release. The front and sides of the neck are soft too. Press through elbows. Inhaling on the way up. Really pull elbows out. Pull hands in a little to engage your chest. Uh, wipe. Drop the chest back down, release the chest, really let shoulder blades come together. Do it again, elbows pull them out apart, hands press a little, pick up your ribs, inhale. Now start shifting your body weight forward, over the hands. You want to put your uh, nose or your chin right above that triangle you're making. Let your hips release, try not to tuck or reach back, just let the hips go. Push your elbows more to pick the ribs up higher. Keep dropping your head. Think of your chin as coming in to the notch between the collarbones. Picking sternum up. It'll get heavy in your upper body. Let it. And then you're going to drop your chest down a little. Let your hips reach back. Belly drops. Ribs drop. Sit back slowly like that. Try to keep your hips or your belly dropped toward the mat. And sit back as far as you can without having to let your elbows slide back. Once you're as far back as you can be, you can put your forehead on the mat. Knees pull the mat apart a little bit, and then let that go. Just hang there. Now knees pull the mat together. Heels pull in toward each other, groin engaging. And then let that go. Sit back. Knees pull the mat apart. This is all pretty much isometric. Let that go. Sit deep into your stretch. Okay, bring your head up and look at your triangle. Pull on the mat with your elbows to engage the muscles underneath your shoulders, underneath the armpits, the serratus. Come forward, keep those engaged. Let your belly drop toward the floor. Keep coming forward, drop into your shoulder girdle. Once you're forward and your face is over your triangle, press through the triangle, press through the elbows. Pull the mat apart with elbows to bring your ribs high. Keep the head dangling. Shift your hips over to the left. Use the right knee to push the left a little. And then shift your hips back to the right. Good. Shift the hips left. Good. Shift your hips back to the right. Come back to the middle. Shift your body further forward. Really feel upper body. Drop your head. Push your elbow tips to pick your ribs up higher. And then start going backwards, keeping around. Keep your ribs lifted, keep your low belly lifted for as long as you can. And when you're as far back as you can go, then let your hips release. 
Really reach back into your stretch. Drop your forehead to the mat. Breathe. Think of your heels as pulling apart. Knees very softly trying to spread the mat apart. Drop your chest deeper into the ground. Two more breaths here. Okay, look forward first. Pull on the mat with your elbows. Try to feel the muscles underneath the armpits. The three is pulling the shoulder blades down away from your ears as you come forward. Knees stay wide, belly dropping toward the floor as you come forward. Think of coming toward knees, chest, chin, like you're going to put your chest into your triangle. Then press your hands and elbows, spreading shoulders to pick your ribs up. Drop the head, lift your low belly a little more this time. Stay there. And then unwrap. Start by reaching your pubic bone back. Belly hangs and ribs really hang. Let's do that again. Press your elbows to bring ribs up first. Press through the tops of the feet and ankles a little bit to bring up the low belly pelvic bowl. Drop your head. Unwrap. Pubic bone reaching back. Belly hangs, then ribs hang. Shoulder blades slide together on the back more. Keep your head release, neck release. Last one, pressing through your elbows, pull the mat apart, pick your ribs up. Shift your weight forward a little bit, push through your feet, lift pelvic bowl, that's the top of the pelvis. Okay, and then unrounding, pubic bone goes back, pelvic bowl drops, belly drops, ribs drop, and then start sitting back like that last time. See if you can sit a little deeper inside the groin, inside the hips. Breathe here. Your head can rest. You can bring elbows back a little bit if you want to try to press yourself a little further back into the stretch. Use elbows and hands kind of pushing the mat forward to help push you a little further back. Find soft, even, slow breaths here. Inhale for at least four counts. Hold the air in for one or two counts at the top and then exhale for at least four counts. Same breath, two more times. Try to get tops of ankles more into the mat. Last breath. And this time you're going to keep your forehead on the mat or keep your head on the mat. Press into the tops of the ankles to start rolling forward. Try not to squeeze your glutes and tuck your tail. Keep lumbar spine flat and long. Pick your chin up into your own throat to roll more toward the top of the head. Keep rolling forward until you're stretching in the neck like you're going to somersault toward the back of the head. Once you're there, untuck the hips, unwrap, and then shift your hips left. Staying on the top of the head, shift your hips right. Shift hips across to the left, use feet and knees. Left knee pushing out to the left to shift hips right. Right knee pushing out to the right to shift hips left. Back and forth two more times. Release your back. Feel like your hips, ribs, and shoulder blades all operate separately. Stay in the middle. Reach the pubic bone back. Your head pushing the mat forward helps you roll back. Think of a puppy dog pushing something forward with its head. And sit back as far as you can. You're going to squish your nose a little bit on purpose. Nostrils will open sideways, air passages widen. Inhale and soft but long. Exhale, very soft pressure into the tops of the feet. Do not tuck tail. Pick your chin up, roll on your head, keeping the back flat. Keep rolling toward the top of the head. Shoulders are back, shift your hips right, and then shift across left. As you shift right, left hip rolls forward a little. As you shift left, right hip rolls forward. Come back to center. Unround hips, pubic bone back. Head pushing the mat forward, shoulders back. Slowly rolling back. Get longer through the entire spine from the tip of the head through the tailbone, pubic bone, all the way back. See if you can't sit deeper between the groin, letting your ribs drop more to the mat. Bring your head up, look forward. 
Start coming forward with your chest low, ribs low, hips low. Open your knees wider on your pads now. Or open them out to the pads. Go as wide as you can, kind of like a frog, but we keep the feet in for now. Okay? And then come forward. See if you can keep all of your weight coming into the upper body without tensing hips at all. Let them hang into that stretch. Okay, once you're all the way forward, push through the elbows and hands to pick up your ribs. And then pull back on the mat with your elbows to come a little further forward. Think of a Kegel exercise, Mula Bandha, pelvic floor, drawing forward, not up, forward through the top of the head. And then let that go. Let the belly hang. Start coming back into your stretch only as far as you can without your tail tucking, without the, the hips lifting. Keep the belly dropped. When you get to the point where your tail wants to tuck, stop, and then untuck, let it go. Hanging into your stretch. Breathe. Start coming back forward slowly, just an inch or two, and hold. See if you can drop a little deeper into that drawing stretch. Keep the hips release. Keep right. pressure in the elbows. Roll your shoulders back. Come a little further forward. Keep hips releasing into that stretch toward the floor. You should definitely feel a groin stretch. You should feel no crunching in your low back. A little further forward. Keep trying to drop the belly. Shoulders roll back. Don't reach with the chin. Keep your neck long. There we go. Elbows pressing. Good. Then press your elbows to pick your ribs up. Slide shoulders forward a little from the chest. Then collarbone forward. Head dropping. Lift the belly a little. And then unwrap. Drop the belly. Drop the ribs. Drop the chest. Start sitting back. Scraping belly along the floor as close to it as you can. Stop there. You're too far. Your hips are tucking. Hold. Now drop the belly. More, drop the belly. There's your stretch, belly grind stretch. That's as far as you can go without it tightening. Good, and then come back forward, elbows come under you. Shift over elbows, pick ribs up, walk the knees back in. Good, should have felt a pretty big stretch in the grind. Let's tuck the toes, come to hands. Keeping your toes tucked, inner feet touching, Walk one knee back at a time. Try to really get the ball of the foot on the floor. All five toes tucked under on the floor so you can stretch the feet. Once toes are tucked, sit back on your feet softly. Don't overstretch the feet. Okay. Once you're there, let the hips go. So notice if you're holding, try to pull weight out of the feet, let that go. Good, let's do hands. Flip your hands backwards. If it's really tight for you to have hands backwards, you can do one at a time or you can use a block so your fingers can stay bent. If you reach further forward, this angle gets more acute, the stretch deepens. Come further back if that's too big a stretch. There you go, good. So if you let the fingers hang off the back of your blocks, it will lessen the stretch, right? Because you're not keeping this fully extended, which stretches further through the tendons in the fingers. Now oh, that's a lesser stretch but you still should feel it in the wrist and forearm. Okay, from there, okay, go ahead and bend your elbow, the right elbow a little bit, try to peel the hand up just a touch, and then come back down into your stretch. Bend your left elbow, feel the knuckles, even if your fingers are hanging, feel the knuckles flatten into your surface, and then roll back forward. Let your hips go, there you go. Pull back with the right elbow, right shoulder rolling back, that's it, and then forward, last one, pull back with the left elbow, and then forward. Now, bring your fingers up on top of the block, or if you're just on the mat, slide forward. Now you're going to stretch the fingers back. Wrists can stay pretty much straight, so it's mostly a stretch in the hand. Good. Then roll through a little deeper into the wrist. And roll back, fingers bending, come to hand. Let your hips release. Yep, sit back, but not under. Now release, let the belly hang. There you go, let the shoulder hang. Roll forward, and then roll back. Elbow should be loose here. If your chest is holding, you'll pull your elbow in, let that go. And then come all the way back onto your knuckles. Don't tuck the fingers all the way in. Keep them long so you don't squish that bottom knuckle. Then flatten that hand out. Other side. Roll back. Slide forward so fingers are either on the block or on the floor, bending back. 
Your wrist is not really the stretching point anymore. Now it's bending fingers back behind the hand, more of a hand stretch. Soften the chest and hips. Roll a little bit forward toward the wrist stretch. Don't go so far that it hurts. Go to where you can go. Then slowly peel your hand back. Good. One more time. Roll forward a little bit. Or all the way. Whatever you can do. Slowly peel the hand back. Roll the left shoulder back. And then come all the way to knuckles. Good. Flatten out your hands. Flip the right hand over so that your palm faces the ceiling and your fingers face in. Spread from thumb to pinky. Outer spiral of the arm so your bicep tries to face out. Let the ribs drop, let the hips drop, let some weight come into that, roll your shoulders back. There we go, think of pushing the floor away a little bit with the hand. Pick your ribs up, push with both hands. Let the hips go, you should be sitting back more. There we go, letting your hips go first, belly spills forward, then ribs come down, head drop. One more time, push with hands to pick it up. Pick up low belly, round the hips under. Then belly spills forward. And ribs drop. Close your right hand into a fist a little bit. Don't keep the back of the hand on the mat. Open it back up. One more time. Try to close into a fist. Keep rolling the shoulder back so you can feel the serratus under here. And then open it up. Okay, turn so your hands a little further forward, fingers facing you. Now see if you can roll the shoulder back and then pull elbow in, outer spiral of the arm so your biceps rolling out. A big stretch. Bend your elbows straight back <coughs> toward the floor. Keep the shoulder rolling back. Go to wherever you can keep your elbow pretty much behind the wrist. Elbow in. Shoulder back. Get that shoulder up. There we go. And roll forward through the hand. One more time. Roll back. Elbow right behind the wrist. Shoulder back. There it is. Yeah, that may be your stretch. And then come all the way back to knuckles and fingernails. Good. One quick counter stretch. Catch the fingers in the mat. Roll through the hand. Roll it back and come to knuckles. Just flatten it back out. Other hand. Turn so your fingers face in. Back of the hand on the mat. We're going to outer spiral the arm. So your bicep rolls out. Wrist rolls out. Our forearm rolls out. Shoulder back. Put some pressure in your right hand if you don't want to put as much pressure in the stretching hand, but you're learning to wait there within the stretch. Come on, straighten that left arm a little more. Let your hips go. Roll your left shoulder back to straighten the arm. Good. Inner spiral your left arm. So roll the in. Your hand up. Okay, and then outer spiral. Just find that. Roll I can't seem to move it. Okay. Because your shoulder's not doing the right thing yet. You've got to let those hips and ribs go. Okay, now put some pressure here. Open your thumb. Let your hand wait there. Roll in. Roll out. Not the shoulder. Yes. Good. Roll in. Shoulder. Back. Elbow. Forward. There you go. Feel the difference? Gotta keep that shoulder back. Okay, that's your stretch. Open. That's it. Right there. Breathe. I put my toes in. Yeah, you can lift your feet on the foot stretch. Whenever you need to, if your feet are done, you can just sit on them. Okay. You can always do this sitting on a block. Let's turn to the back of the wrist face more forward now. Maybe all the way forward if you have that stretch. From there, you can soften your elbow. Most people want to pull with their chest and drop that shoulder forward and really kill their alignment. Roll your shoulder back first. Use your right hand to support you. Pull the elbow in. Shoulder back. There you go. If your hips are really holding, your shoulder can't go back. You have to let go of the hips. Not that. I'm showing the wrong thing. Come down. Now roll your shoulder back. That's it. Now elbow in. That's it. Keep the shoulder up and back. Good. Breathe. Stop using your back and your hips here. Roll this shoulder back. Good. Elbow in. There you go. Okay, that's fine. Now bend your elbow back. That's it. Now keep your fingers open and your hands engaged. Get on your chest. This hand's dying on you. Keep this hand helping you. There we go. Feel the stretch in your wrist? So that's where your stretch lifts. Keep the hand active. No, not by moving your hips. By spreading your fingers. There we go. 
Good. Breathe. And then go ahead and come out of that hand. Stretch slowly by rolling all the way back through the elbow. Come to fingernails and come to knuckles. Good. Come back into your foot stretch. Actually, take a quick counter stretch with that left hand. Yeah. Roll all the way back and come to knuckles. Retuck the toes if you came out of your foot stretch. Take your knees up and over to come back. Sitting on your heels, bring your body inside the knees. Elbows in close, drop your head. Try to drop your heels back toward the mat. Reach the hands forward to counter that. Don't drop so far back that you get stuck there and you can't come back forward. So reach forward, hands get stuck. Hips and heels reach back. Even if your heels can't touch, that's okay. Go to your limit. Now spread your fingers, activate your hands. That's you. Your hands don't like to do as much as they should, which is why the rest of the body then has to. Okay? Now start tipping your weight forward. Feel your hands catch your weight. Come on to your toes, coming forward. There we go. Let your hands open. Spread them across the mat. Push the mat away with hands. And then tip your hips back, heels back. Sit back. Feel the transfer of weight. Pull back on the mat with your hands to start shifting forward. Then push through the ball of the foot, the metatarsals. Heels come up, swooping hips up. And then a lot of weight comes into your hands. Hands have to be ready to accept the weight. Drop chest forward. Push in the hands to pick your ribs up. That's it. Then pull the core. Bring heels back, hips back. Let's do that one more time. Pull with your shoulders. Pull your ribs forward. Pull with the serratus. Then push with the ball of the foot. Your heels come high, knees come forward. Drop your chest deeper into shoulders, drop head. Then press with hands to bring your ribs back. Heels dropping back. And you get a little longer. Pretty good. Walk your hands back, bring your knees toward each other, elbows outside the legs, and your elbows are going to squeeze in on your own legs now. Okay? Keep elbows squeezing in. Tip forward into your hands a little bit. Lots of weight coming into hands. Roll shoulders back, head long, chin in. And then tip it back up again. Okay, now see if you can tent fingers. Staying really high on the toes, on the metatarsals. Heels high, try to sit down on your heels as much as you can, narrowing the space between hips and heels to the point where eventually you're sitting there. Drop your head, stay like you're a little ball over your feet. We're going to slowly drop the heels back toward the mat. Your hips should go back. Your shoulders stay connected with knees and your head drops forward with shoulders forward. So shoulders, head, knees all dropping forward as heels drop back, hips drop back. Then go the other way. Press into the ball of the foot. Hips feel like they're scooping under heels. Knees push shoulders back, head can rise. Hips scoop forward into heels. If you can touch sitting bones and heels to each other, your, hip, your sitting bones push your heels forward here. Then go the other way. Heels push hips back. Shoulders drop forward onto knees, stretching the Achilles, calves, working feet, drop the head. There you go. Very nice. Stay a little over the feet. Then press through the metatarsals. Use your feet. Heels come to pick up hips. Shoulders pick up or our knees, excuse me, pick up shoulders, head can come up. Very good. Last time, when your heels drop back, it presses your hips back, your chest drops onto the knees, let the head hang down between the two. Really release hips, let your feet take this weight. Very good today. Okay, and then you're going to bring it up and you're going to end with it upright. Press into the ball of the foot, knees will push shoulders back, hips push heels forward, come all the way up to one or two fingers, Pull your knees in, but very slightly pull heels apart. If your sitting bones are on heels, it pulls sitting bones apart. Opens pelvic floor. Lift Mula Bandha. Keep hugging the knees in. Keep thinking of pulling the Mula Bandha out of the pelvic floor. Perineum up. And then hands can come together in prayer. Fingers very wide. Elbows reach out from serratus. No leaning back or you'll crawl. You've got to keep weight forward. Your toes keep you from falling. Feet are done. My knees. <laughs> knees too. All right. My feet are okay. My. I'm good. Okay. We're gonna need in a standing forward bend. So you're gonna press into the toes to bring your hips up. Heels high. Good. Ten fingers to give you more room. Try 
Try to drop your right heel, right hip. Keep your left hip high. So stagger your hips to do this. Bring it back up. Drop your left hip, left heel. Keep your right hip high. You can keep legs straight. Do that. Bring it up. Drop your right hip, right heel. That's it. Bring it up. Drop left hip, left heel. Good. Bring it up. Slowly lower both. Bring your heels two inches apart. Your toes will be about one inch apart. Drop your head, drop your neck, unlock your knees, little knee bend. Hold opposite elbows and really let your elbows hang all the way out of the side of the body. So your shoulder blades slide up the side of the ribs towards the ground. Breathe. Tip your weight more toward the front of the feet. Feel all the metatars with the little bones in the feet spread across the mat. And tip all the way till you start to feel your feet up to grab the mat, so grab the mat a little bit. And then shift your weight all the way to your heels. Really shift back till toes get light. Once you feel heels, pull the mat apart with your heels. Try to make that come all the way from hips, sitting bones coming apart. Okay, keep that apart feeling, lift Mula Bunda pelvic floor. Then start shifting weight to the front of the feet. Heels still pulling the mat horizontally apart. Head dropping, ribs releasing out of the hips, toes grab the mat. Try to straighten your right leg a little further back. Let your ribs connect with the left knee and the left knee, left thigh supports your ribs on that left side. And then switch, bend the right knee, bring it into your ribs. I don't care how far you have to bend to support your ribs. And then start straightening the left leg. It may not straighten all the way. That's fine. Go to your stretch. Keep the, the head dropped. Bend that left knee till your ribs rest. Straighten the right leg a little more, dragging that hip back. Think of spinning your right heel in, toes out to pull the right hip back. At the same time, let's reach your right elbow forward. Right elbow forward. Look under that right arm, hip chin in. Good. Bend both knees, ribs rest on both thighs evenly, head dropping, elbows hang. Start straightening the left leg by taking that left hip back further. Reach your left elbow forward, twist a little, look underneath your left armpit. Keep hugging that left hip back, then heel in, toes out on the left side, really pulling back. And then back to the middle, just one more each side. Let your ribs rest on the thighs. Again, I don't care how far you have to bend it to get there. Start straightening right leg away from ribs. Keep left thigh supporting ribs. Reach the right elbow forward, look under the right armpit, twisting a little bit, open that hip. Tip back a little bit while you're there, into the right heel. And then bend both knees, ribs support, ribs are supported by thighs. Straighten the left leg a little bit more. Keep the right knee open though. Don't let that right knee collapse across your center line. Look under your left armpit. Reach the left elbow forward. Tip back a little further into left heel. Keep hugging that hip back and reaching the elbow away. Come back to center. Both hands to the floor. Let's ten fingers. Inhale, come up to two fingers. Flatten your back. Think sitting bones up. Shoulders back. Let's bring the head up, purposely shortening the muscles in the neck. And then as you exhale, drop the head and bring your chin up into your own chest. Pick your ribs up, round forward. Same thing, inhale, up, flatten the back, roll shoulders back to dip ribs down, keep your head up. As you exhale, head moves first. Chin up, head up and in, ribs come up, come all the way down. Okay, bring your hands flat to the mat, or if you need blocks, grab blocks, heel toe your feet apart to the width of the mat with the feet. Okay, and you need to be able to shift back and forth between the hips. If that can't happen, put your blocks on either first level under each hand or second level, one block for each hand. Okay, if you're fine here, just shift back and forth, shifting your weight left, your right hip will drop a little bit left. Keep the legs straight to shift your hips. Stay straight. Shift to the, there we go. That's a different shifting in your hips. Good. So that's why I said use blocks if you need to. Your legs have to be able to stay straight. So if your hamstrings are tighter, you've got to get blocks or you won't feel the movement in your hips. You'll just be bending and straightening the legs. And that isn't the same thing. So with blocks, 
I don't care if you're on third level. Okay? First level is here, shifting back and forth in the hips. Your hips will roll through their joint, and your SI joint right here between the back of the hips will actually move. You'll feel like your hips really are so separate. Good. Again, if you have the bending and straightening in the legs, it gets very confusing. You won't feel that rolling. There we go. Yes. Keep some weight in your hands. Keep your upper body a little forward. There we go. Then roll through the hips. That's it. Yes. Good. Feel the difference? Now, even if you're pretty good there, let's try second level. Stay on second level. Let your chest drop into shoulder girdle. Tip forward in the hands a little. Take your hips left. Yeah, and then back to the right. Stay forward. Take the hips left. Really drop your right hip forward when you go left. And then take your hips right. Drop that left hip further forward. Start holding the right hip back a little. Good. Take the hips left. Right hip drops forward. Left hip back. Think left shoulder forward. Open up that left side. Take your hips right. Right hip hugs back. Right shoulder forward. Think about looking under your right armpit. Drop the head. There we go. Shift left. Look under the left armpit. Right hip will roll a little forward. Left hip back. Yeah, and then open up that whole left side. Switch back to the right. Look under the right armpit. Left shoulder can drop. Right shoulder goes forward. Switch. Shift your hips first. Once you're there, look under that left armpit. Right shoulder dropping. Left shoulder forward. Last two. Switch to the right. Think of inner spiraling your right arm. So your bicep rolls towards your face. Outer spiraling your left. So your elbow hugs in, opening the ribs more. And then last one, shift the hips across to the left. Outer spiral the right arm. Inner spiral the left. Drop right shoulder. Push your ribs across left. Push your hands a little bit and come to the middle. Good. Start to feel that space in your hips. Yeah. And you'll tear the feet mm -hmm. apart. They're going to be off the mat now, so maybe if you want to turn sideways if you don't feel stuck. But if you feel like your feet can stay stuck, take heels a little wider than toes. A little further apart with the feet in general. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. And then heels touch wider than toes. So you're just a touch pigeon toed. Keep your fingers spreading. Drop the chest down into the shoulder girdle. Good. Bend your knees just a touch. That's it. And then re-straighten the legs. Do that again. When you bend your knees, try to keep the belly dropped. Try to keep your ribs dropped. Good. Nice. And then re straight. Okay. Now keeping the knees straight, drop chest into shoulder, girl, ribs hang, and then shift your hips left again, just like we did a minute ago. That's it. And then shift your hips right. Your right hip will hug back a little, left hip forward. That's it. Shift left. Right hip rolls forward, legs stay straight. Find this in your hips. Shift right. Same shifting we did before. Find it in your hips. Right hip hugs back a little. Good. Use your feet to initiate the shift. Push through right foot. Shift the hips left. Bring your upper body forward. You're too far back in the hips. You can't shift. Good. Shift to the right. Keep your body weight forward in your hands. Your hips are free to move. Shift left. Keep your body weight forward in your hands. Better. Keep your body weight forward. Shift right. Good. Stay in the middle. Take your hips back as far as you can, keeping the back flat, and then bend your knees out to the sides a little bit. Sit down into that hip stretch. Breathe. Drop your head. If you've got a deeper stretch, you can reach your blocks forward further or come to the floor. See if you can drop your chest down even deeper through the shoulders. Nope, back is rounded. Back cannot round. There we go. So that's it, that's it right there. Don't round your back. Keep your hips lifted up. Bend the knees more, bend the knees more. Sitting bones back, drop chest forward into your hands. Better, more forward into your hands. Back, much flatter. In the back, much better. Good, feel the difference? Breathe. Keep your weight tipping forward. Dumping ribs a little bit. That's it. And then bring it back. Okay, let's heel toe the feet in just enough so that you feel a little bit more stable, a little bit more narrow. Bring your right hand across to your left ankle. 
Okay, and then you can bring your left arm up if you have that, or you can take it around in half line. But you're going to try to bend that right elbow, reach it for the ground, or even forward a little bit. And you can take your left hand up, and then roll open. If you're really deep here, you can put the back of the head on the mat. Breathe. You can either take the arm back or up. Okay, come back to the middle. Walk it across. Reach your left hand across for the right heel. Try to reach all the way around the foot to the heel so your wrist bends over the front of the ankle. Then bend the elbow out and forward. If it touches the mat, then you'll drop chest more. Bring your right arm up. Either take it back, overhead, or half bind. Okay? Keep letting the head drop. Keep trying to twist from your ribs. Breathe. Are the legs straight? If they can be. And then come back to center. Good. All right, let's go ahead and come back to your blocks. Come to third level on your blocks. Blocks right below your shoulders now. Sitting bones back. Bend the knees a little bit. Good. Bend the knees a little deeper. Try to keep the sitting bones back. Take your hips behind your knees. Keep dropping the chest deeper. Good. Drop the belly more. Nope. Yes. That's it. Three straight the legs. Tip forward into your hands. Pick your ribs up. Press into hands. Drop your chest back down. Ready right back down. Do that again. Pick ribs up. Don't use hips. No. Stay there. Stay forward. Stay forward. Push through hands. Pick ribs up. Keep your legs straight for a minute. I want you to separate those. Okay, drop the chest back down. You're just moving through the shoulders. Pick ribs up. Yeah, drop the chest back down. Last one. Pick ribs up. Hold. Lift your pelvic floor a little. Just a little. Now shift your hips to the left by dropping the right hip forward. There we go. Yep, stay forward. Don't back up. Don't back up. Good. Now shift your hips to the right by dropping left hip forward. Roll right hip back. There's the shift through hips. Good. Shift your hips left. Roll the right hip forward. Keep that right shoulder forward. Left shoulder stays forward too. Shift your hips to the right. Left hip forward. Right hip back. Good. Feel the difference? Shift your hips left. Right hip forward. There we go. Good. Shift them across. Use your feet. When your left hip comes forward, roll to inner left foot. That's it. When your right hip comes forward, roll to the inner arch of your right foot. Maybe even lift the outer foot off the mat. Switch, roll to inner left foot, inner left hip. That's it. Switch, roll to inner right foot. Good, come to the middle. Walk your blocks out in front. Drop your belly first. Belly down. None of this, no tail under you. Belly dropping, hips back. There we go, think down dog. Drop the chest back, hips up. Good, breathe. Keep weight coming forward a little bit into the chest. Sitting bones up. Heels out. Your feet should be pushing the mat apart. Not pulling it together. And bring it back up. Heel toe the feet in. All the way in. Good. And then keep your feet about two inches apart. Take heels a touch wider than the toes. Sitting bones back. Bend the left knee. Let that hip drop. Hug your right hip back. Good. Bend both knees, coming through center. Straighten the left leg, keep the right hip dropped and knee open. Bend both knees, coming through center, straighten the right leg back. Good. Keep the right leg straightened back, drop your hips back as far as you can. Head comes down through the arms, look under the right armpit, drop your left armpit to twist. Right shoulder up a little more. Good. Go back as far as you can into the right heel. The toes may even lift. That's it. Come back to the middle with your chest. Come back forward again. Bend both knees in the center. Straighten your left leg back. Keep your right hip hanging. You're not crunching the right side. Don't bring the shoulder to the hip. Keep it released and just hanging. Okay? Then shift your hips back into the left heel. Drop your head through your arms. And let your upper body release. Okay, then look under that left armpit, hugging your left hip back, keep your right knee open. Breathe. And you go back far enough so your left toes feel like they want to lift. And then come back forward with upper body, bend both knees in the center. How are we done? Good. 
chest right above your hands now. Press down through your hands to pull the ribs up. Spread the shoulder blades. Then lift your low belly up. Bend the knees under you a little bit. Try to come high onto your toes here. Let's like keep your pelvic floor lifted. Drop the right heel back, hip back. Bend the knee back up. C curve your spine. Pick up low belly. Drop the right heel back, hip back. Bring it back up. And then bring both heels back down. Good. Walk your blocks way out in front. Step your right foot forward outside the blocks. Turn your right toes out about 45 degrees. High on your left toes. Much bigger stance. Take your blocks forward. Foot out to the side and forward. Okay, bend the right knee. Drop your hips down into your lunge. Good. Keep your back foot strong. Heel right above the ball of the foot. Bend your elbows a little bit. If you have more room to stretch in the hips, open the right knee. And then re straighten arms. Push through the right foot to come up. Pressing through your right heel, roll your left hip open to facing. Then inner spiral, left leg, roll the left hip forward. Outer spiral, right leg. I want you to peel your inner foot up off the mat a little. Bend the knee out to the side. Stay a little in the pinky side of the foot. Don't go too far. Okay? Big toe still reaching down. Open that right knee as you drop your hips down. Keep your back leg strong. Back quad creates a little floor so that hip can open. Bend your elbows to sit deeper. Bring the right toes down if they were up. Re-straighten the arms. Re-straighten the right leg. Pick your ribs up a little bit into the shoulder girdle now. Round it. And then drop them back down. Do it again. Push your hands to do this. Pick the ribs up. Now push through your right heel. Pick up your right low belly. Roll the left hip back. Then drop your ribs back down. Good. Pick your ribs up again. Roll your left hip forward, right hip back. Drop your ribs back down. Now bend your right knee out to the side. Open your chest, roll shoulders back. Open that right knee, keep left leg strong. Bend your elbows a little to drop deeper if you've got more room. And then re-straighten arms, re-straighten leg. Spin the back heel in and down. Your back foot is going to be parallel to the front and back of the mat. Heel toe your left foot inside your block. I mean your right foot, sorry, your front foot. Your front heel, if I draw a line to your front heel, it should come right into the arch of the back foot. Okay? And then drop your chest down into the shoulder girdle. Hug your right hip back. Try to bring your left hip forward a little bit. Left hip forward. There you go, yes. Hugging right hip back. If that's too hard for you to do, heel toe your right foot a little to the right and line your right heel up with your left heel instead of the arch. Why don't you heel toe your foot a little to the right? Right foot to the right, Dorothy. There we go. Now drop left hip forward more. That's it. Good. Keep hugging your right hip back as your left hip goes forward. Shoulders back a little. Drop the chest. Top of the head is forward. Chin picks up into your own throat. Both legs are strong. Both feet are strong. Breathe. And then as you exhale, push through your right heel. Roll your left hip open by pushing through your right heel. And then roll the left hip forward, pushing through the left foot to roll your left hip back forward again. Good. Push your right foot. Roll the left hip open. Good. Hold. Bring your left arm straight up. Triangle. Good. Now keep dragging your right hip back. So I don't want a major round here. Now let's pull back. Good. Let's go back and forth through that. Push through your right heel. Pull your right shoulder blade down. Use your obliques to pick this up. Okay. And then let that go. Drop that right hip back. Let your shoulder come to your ear on the right side. Sit into the right shoulder blade. There we go. Pull the shoulder blade down. Pick your ribs up. Pull the hip under the ribs. Good. Reach your top hand up and then forward. Good. Bring the top hand up again. Spread fingers. Pull your hip out from under. Bring the shoulder forward to elongate ribs. One more time. Shoulder blade comes down. Pick up ribs. Bring your hip under the ribs. Bottom hip forward. Your left hip kind of comes under your right hip to pick this up. And then on, then bring the top arm overhead. Then bring the top arm up to the ceiling. Unround your hips. Drag your right hip under the left. Then right shoulder forward to elongate. Now just bring your right shoulder back. Hold. See if you can bring your left arm around your back. Put the back of the hand right up against the buttocks. Slide it up. 
Good. If you can get to there, maybe you can bring your hand around for your half bun. Keep your ribs pulled back into that hand. Chin in for now, neck long. Roll your bottom shoulder forward and then roll it back. Make sure that arm's involved. Roll it forward, inner spiral. Roll it back. Now find halfway between those and try to open your chest. Chin in still. Good. Bend the bottom knee. Bend, bend, bend. There you go. Good. If you've got enough strength there, you can bring your bottom arm forward. Very nice. Breathe. Reach longer through that arm. Good. Hand back to your block. Breathe straight in the bottom leg. Come out of your half bind. Arm overhead. Bend the bottom knee again. Reach. Now see if you can set your right elbow on top of the right knee. So you've got to be bent enough here to have a shelf. Turn so your left palm faces the ground and even in toward you. And then your left hip comes forward. Open the chest. Your right hip comes under your left hip. Good. And then bring your hand back. Both hands to your blocks. Re-straighten the front leg. Roll the back hip forward. Front hip back. Chin in. Chest dropping. Spin onto the toes of the back foot. Lift your heel. Bend the front knee. Slowly drop the back knee to the mat. Very nice. Put the top of the toes on the ground. Your front knee should bend far enough so it passes the heel and it's more over the metatarsals, the part of the foot where balance lives and adjustments can be made. Your front foot should feel like it's pulling the mat back to pull you forward into that stretch. Let's press into the top of the back foot enough to pick up your back knee off the ground. There you go. Now stay forward in that front leg. Keep pulling back with your front heel. Put the back knee down. Keep that pressure in the top of the back foot. Bring your right hand to the right knee, elbow wide. Bring your body over that, then left hand to the knee. Push your knee forward and lean into that front foot more. More. Lean forward, lean forward, lean forward. There we go. Elongate your spine. That's it. Now feel that right foot. Take your weight. Try to drag your left hip a little more forward. There we go. Now keep pressure in your hands. Don't change slow body, but pick up your low belly a little off the right side. Just low belly. Good. Keep squaring. Right hip back, left hip forward. Bring your left arm up and reach as far forward as you can. Bring it across to the right knee. Good. Pull your left elbow under the knee. Right hand into prayer. Good. Stay forward in that left leg. Push with your right hand to pick up your ribs a little bit. Stay forward. Think right hip back, left hip forward as you twist. Chin in. Breathe. Let your left shoulder draw forward now and sit a little deeper into the right leg. <clears throat> sit forward. Good. One more time. Right hand pushes into left to pick your ribs back up. Keep your left shoulder wrapping around to the right. Back shoulder forward, front shoulder back. Good. And then come back to your blocks. Tuck the back toes. Stand it up. Step your right foot back into a high plank. Pick up the low belly. Pick up the ribs. Step your left foot forward. Outside the blocks. I should have said outside the blocks. Good. Blocks should be forward pretty far, so you've got a full length lunge. Left toes are turned out about 45 degrees outside your blocks. Press into your right ball of your foot. Bend the left knee, drop into your lunge. Good job. Breathe. Keep the back quad engaged so there's a floor here, so you're really keeping that leg straight. So this stretch turns the corner. Drop the hip into that. Then push into the left foot. Push into your left heel a little bit. Lift from left low belly, left psoas. Roll it across to the right psoas to open your hips to face right. Good. Now push with right foot. Roll the right hip forward, left hip back. Think of inner spiral in your right leg. Right frontal hip into left groin. Then push with left foot. Roll your right hip back. Good. Roll the right hip forward. Ribs stay long and forward. Push with left heel. Roll your right hip back. Roll the right hip forward again. Two more push with left heel. Roll it open. Push with right big toe or right ball of the foot. Roll it forward. Now keeping it forward here, pull. Pick your ribs up by pushing into hands. Drop the head. Pick up your left low belly more. Then dig through left heel. Roll it back open. Once your right hip's open, then drop ribs down. Drop ribs. Good. Pick your ribs back up. Pick up the low belly. Roll right hip forward, left hip back. Then ribs go forward and down long. Good. Pick up the ribs. 
Lifting up your left low belly. Push your left heel. Lift left quad a little. Roll your right hip open. Drop your left sitting bone back. Drop your chest down. Last one. Pick up ribs. Pick up low belly. Roll right hip forward. Left hip pulls back. Ribs come back down. Very nice. Okay, roll it back open again. Spin your right heel in and down. Line up the right back foot with the top and bottom of the mat parallel. Heel toe your left foot inside your left block and put the block back down outside of the foot. Let's line up left heel with your right heel. If you know you're really open in the hips, you can take your left heel further across to the right. Start out with left heel to right. And then notice if you're pulling your left sitting bone under and really rounding and crunching your left side, let that go. Let some weight come into your hands. Roll your right hip forward from here. Okay, that's a lot harder. Pull your left hip back. There's your stretch. Roll it back open again. Good. Roll right hip forward. Come to the inner arch of your right foot. You might even lift the outer right foot. Now dig through left heel to push back. Roll it open. Do it again. Roll right hip forward. Make sure your shoulders aren't pulling back. They should be forward enough so your ribs can be open and forward. And then roll it back. One more time. Roll your right hip forward, left hip back. Get longer in both sides of the ribs, top of the head forward. And then push your left heel, roll it back, open again. Good. Keep your left hand on your block, bring your right arm up. Very nice. Pull your left shoulder blade down the body. Pull your left hip under you. Think of shifting your left sitting bone forward, your right hip pulled back and under. Then unround that, drop the hip back, drop your chest into the shoulder blade and your shoulder forward a little. Spread the top fingers. Pull the top shoulder blade or bottom shoulder blade down. Push through your left heel to really engage the obliques. Reach the top hand to the ceiling. Good. Now let the hip release back. Drop your chest into the shoulder blade. Good. Last two. Push through the hand. Pull the shoulder down. Hip comes under. Now bring the top arm all the way to parking lot. Palm facing the floor so arms outer spiral. A shoulder blade comes around to the front a little. Palm faces down. Elbow forward more. To the mirror that way. Which way? To the mirror. It pulls your shoulder blade around the side of the ribs more. Okay, your hands behind your head. Get it in front. Now reach. Yeah, feel the difference? That's better reach. Okay, bring the arm back up. Let your hip drop back and your chest drop down. One more time. Pull your shoulder blade down. Pull your hip underneath. Bring the arm over, but outer spiral so you're reaching. And then bring it back up, hip drops back. Good, arm back up. Now reach your arm behind you, turn so your palm faces back. That's an inner spiral through the glenohumeral joint here. Spiraling in, bring the back of the hand to your low back, and maybe you can wrap it around for your half bind. If not, just keep it into your low back, okay? From here, roll the shoulder back, bottom shoulder, I want you to inner spiral, and then outer spiral. Do it again. Inner spiral, outer spiral. Feel this hand hold your weight. One more. Inner spiral. Find halfway between those. Your outer spiral, then you're lifted. And then bend that bottom knee. Stay strong in the bottom leg. Reach the arm forward if you have that thing. Good. Bend the bottom knee more. Bring your hand back to the blocks. Reach straight in the bottom leg. Try to use that binder, the hand on your back. Roll the shoulder back, open the chest. You can bring the bottom shoulder, touch rolled in to help you twist. Good, and then take the hand out of your bind, reach it back up, come forward, roll your right hip forward one more time, spin onto the toes of the right foot, come back up. Good, how are you doing? Good, yeah. All right, from here, bend your left knee, bring the right hip down, keep your heel right above the toes, Keep the right quad pretty strong, leg pretty straight, but let your hip drop into the stretch. And then press through the left foot to come up. One more time, roll your right hip forward a little bit, bend your left knee, drop down slow, put the back knee down, top of the foot to the mat. Good. Now really sit into that left heel. I don't care if you want to bring your elbows down to your blocks to make sure you're far enough forward, sit into the left heel. You should feel your left foot has all your weight. Your knee is a little bit past the heel, so it's over the metatarsals where your balance lives. Okay, come back to hands to blocks. 
Keep that left heel pulling back to pull your right hip more forward. And then bring your ribs up a little. Bring your left hand to the knee, elbow facing out. Square your body more over the knee than bring your right hand. Now stay sitting into that foot. Good. Really use your left foot. Pull your right hip forward a little bit. Lean forward with your spine. One straight line from knee all the way through spine. Then press with hands a little. Pick up your low belly. So instead of picking your upper body up, pick up your low belly. Good. Bring your right arm up. Reach the shoulder blade off the back. Bring right elbow to left knee. That's it. Hands in prayer. Good. Now bring your right shoulder forward. Purposely slide in the shoulder blade up the side of the ribs. Then your left hand can press into the right a little. Your right elbow pushing into the left knee. Pick your ribs up. Now stay forward though into the left knee bend. Into the left foot. Come back into your stretch. Right shoulder to ear. Lean forward. Right shoulder up high. Okay, now push left hand into right. Pick up your ribs. Good. Square left hip back. Right hip forward more. And then come out of your twist. <laughs> Good. Tuck the back toes. Push into that back leg. Pick up the hips. Good. And step the front foot back. Okay. Come over the toes. Come down to the knee. Take the blocks way out in front. Maybe down dog. Just stretching the shoulders now. Keep your hands spreading across the blocks. You're going to drop the hips back, chest down. Drop your head through the arms. Your head has to rest on a surface. So if you can't reach the floor, you're going to need to put a block under your head. Or a phone book, or whatever. Tennis ball, doesn't matter. You've got to rest on something. Breathe. Keep reaching, sitting bones back, and ribs pulling back toward thighs. Your ribs should be able to touch the thighs, though. If they do, your knees need to be back further on your mat. Breathe. Okay, press down through hands, press down through knees. Try to round it up, tip your blocks to their back corner, lifting your low belly up. And then blocks back down, drop your belly, drop your ribs back down. Yep, so you can do cat cow on elbows if you'd rather. This is in the shoulder, starts to crunch. Good. And then bring your hands to your mat. Come on out there. Good. All right, let's turn around and have a seat. Bring your blocks so they're flat on the ground, as wide as your mat. On the ground? Okay. On the mat, yeah. If you want to turn to face me, you can. It's up to you. Okay. It's probably easier. I'm going to do some shoulder stretching with blocks and a little bit of work on your bridge. So feet flat on the floor, knees tended, all five fingers spreading across your blocks. If your fingers fall off the front of the blocks, it's less of a hand stretch. Start by trying to have your hand on the block. Pinky off the outside of the block, thumb off the inside. So you're really spreading across. Yeah. You're palming your block. I got my blocks crooked. Okay. Once the hand is lined up, so you're really spreading the metacarpals, the bones in the hand, you're going to press your hands, bring hips to heels, tailbone under more. There we go, good, and then feet forward. Feet are about hip width apart. Roll your shoulders forward. Your shoulders have to be in front of your hands. If you lean back and your shoulders go back, like this behind your hands, that is not it. Your gravity, your center of gravity is all off, your stretch is in the wrong place. So you have to have hips forward far enough, and then when you roll your shoulders forward, it feels like your collarbone is rolling forward, your weight stays forward, the knuckles of the hands have the weight, not the wrists. Keeping the shoulders forward, elbows wide, you should feel like you're spinning your block in toward the thumb side of the hands, your elbow can open more and the shoulder blade can spread off the back. Good. Feel that space across your upper back? Mm -hmm. Collarbone rolling forward, chin in. Think of your chin as coming in and pushing ribs down to round your upper back more. There we go. Breathe. Now soften hips. Make sure you're not holding in your hips. Now put a little bit of pressure in your feet like you're going to push them out forward to roll pelvic bowl back further, rounding your back more. Good. Then roll hips forward. That's perfect. Yep. Roll pelvic bowl back. A little pressure in your feet and a little pulling with feet to roll forward. Two more like that. Keep the shoulders rolled forward when your hips roll back. It deepens the stretch. Roll forward. Last one. Hips roll back. Pull. There you go. Keep the shoulders forward. Chin in. Press into your hands. 
all the way until the base of the wrist lifts a little bit. Keep pressing, keep shoulders forward, keep shoulders forward. Yeah, you cannot roll shoulders back when you press. Once arms are almost straight or as straight as you can go, roll forward on your hips, all the way to sitting bone. Then roll shoulders back to opening ribs. You should feel a big stretch all the way down into hand and wrist. Then roll your shoulders forward first, roll your hips back second. Then elbows out to the side. Knuckles really grabbing. Flatten those fingers. Get your knuckles into your block. Hands have to do their job here. If your hands die and your knuckles bubble, you're not going to get the stretch in the right place. Roll shoulders forward. That's it. Now feel knuckles. Press. There you go. Press with knuckles to straighten the arms. Wrists should be willing to lift because all your weight's in your knuckles anyways. Now roll hips forward. That's it. Now keep it for knuckles pressing. Straighten your arms more. Shoulders forward. Then roll shoulders open. Good. Then roll shoulders back forward. Then hips roll back, elbows out to the sides. There we go. Good. Lean over into your right hand more. Good. Keep that right elbow wide. Then take your knees left. It's a twist. Ribs go right, knees go left. If you want to deepen the twist, you can cross your left ankle halfway down the right leg and very softly pull it further across. Think of that right hip going towards your right heel. Breathe. And then uncross your left ankle, bring it back to the middle. Okay, switch. Lean into your left hand. Right hand pushes you over there. Left shoulder stays forward, elbow wide. Knees go across to the right. Lift that outer left foot as you go. Think of your left hip reaching for heel. Right ankle can cross about halfway down the shin. Pull it across further. Keep the right hand pressing you left. Left hand receiving that weight. Good. And then uncross the right leg. Bring it back up. Good. Press into the hands to come up. Turn your hands to face backwards. There you go. You're getting better with that. That's a big stretch. Hands have to stay active. Don't let them die. Thumb on the outside of the block now. Pinky on the inside. Keep squeezing your block from thumb to pinky. Keep that action. Roll shoulders forward. Bend elbows back. Okay. Your elbows, again, shouldn't pass the hands. Elbows right above the wrists. Feet under you, bring your tail under a little further. When you go from fingers facing forward to back, you definitely need to bring hips forward from wherever they were. Feet forward again. Keep the shoulders rolled forward and even down a little bit to keep the neck long. Then you can bend elbows back. If bending elbows back makes your shoulders go back, that's not it. There's opposition. Shoulders forward against that, elbows pull back. That's what opens the bottom tip of the shoulder blade off the spine. Good. Press into your hands to straighten arms. Roll to the top of the sitting bone. Roll shoulders back, outer spiral arms, and maybe you can rebend elbows toward each other. Okay. Restraighten, roll shoulders forward, hips back, chin in. Bend your elbows. You should feel like you're pulling the back of the ribs toward hands to hands, pulling toward the back of the ribs. Elbows really wide. Okay. Lean into the right hand more. Left hand pushing you right, left shoulder forward. Take your knees across to the left. That's it. Again, you can cross that left ankle over the right. Right hip going toward the right heel. And then across the leg, bring it up. Lean into your left hand. Left shoulder really forward. Left elbow wide. Knees go right. Left hip goes toward left heel. Right ankle can come across. Keep that right shoulder rolling forward, helping you twist left. Breathe. And up. Job. Press into the hands to straighten. Drag your hands down to the floor. Tuck the fingers under. Come to your knuckles. Good. Straight wrists. Good. Press into the knuckles to bring shoulders down. Body forward. Chin in. Roll shoulders forward. And then roll them back. Open your chest. Good. Roll shoulders forward. Hips round under. Good. Roll forward on the hips first this time. Then roll shoulders back. Chin open. Good. Roll hips under. Shoulders roll forward. Roll hips forward. Shoulders roll back. Now roll shoulders forward first, then hips roll under. Good. And bend elbows. Flatten out your hands. Good job. Bring them forward. Open and close a few times. How are we doing? Good. Alright. Go ahead and bring your hips back. Legs out in front. <coughs> Hop your right sitting bone further back on your mat, left sitting bone further forward. So your heels should be staggered, sitting bones staggered. 
Bring both hands forward to your right foot and pull back very softly, trying to stretch the back of that right hip and hamstring more. Try to bring your ribs forward. Good. A little stretch in the back of the right hip. <clears throat> Three. Let your head release. If you want to go deeper, you can keep left elbow inside the knee. Bring your right arm overhead and reach for outer left foot. Keep under the right arm. So your right hand, instead of being here, comes over to the outer left foot. And you peek under your right armpit. Under the right arm. Peek under your right this arm. Is my right. Yeah, oh, you should no, be looking. You there you go. <laughs> the hip that's back, that's yeah. the armpit you're looking under. Okay. You feel the stretch? Come yeah. all the way up that side. If you want to go even deeper, you can bring the arm that's in the middle all the way across. Breathe. And bring it back up. Stagger the hips the other way. Right sitting going forward, left sitting going back. Really walk it back further on the mat. Okay. Both hands hold your left foot, one on the outer arch, one on the inner arch. Drag your ribs forward. Keep that right groin reaching forward, right heel reaching forward. Left hip back. Breathe. Let the head release. If you want to go deeper, you can bring, keep the right elbow inside the right knee and press with it a little against the right knee to open the chest. And bring your left arm over and reach for the outer right foot, peeking under your left armpit. Yes, so the hip that's back, that's the one you're looking under. If you want to go even deeper, the right arm comes across outside the left to deepen your twist. Breathe. And bring it back up when you're ready. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Your back of the hip, right? Soles of the feet together, body can also have it a little more open. Maybe 18 inches from pelvic floor to feet. Elbows come to the front of the shins. Very softly pull back on your chin, shins, top of the head forward. Let your back release. Breathe there. And be there for three breaths. Try to make it that soft, long inhale for four counts. Holding for one or two at the top, and then a soft, long exhale. Now let's play with your internal muscles. Your feet are going to press the mat forward just a touch. That's just quads engaging, trying to straighten legs a little. That should roll your sitting bones under. Then think mula bundle, lift pelvic floor, low belly, just a little. Let the head drop, back rounding. Then go the other way. Very softly pull back on your shins with your elbows. That should come from serratus. Keep a little lift in your low belly so you don't tighten your whole back though. Do that really soft. And then maybe you can even roll the shoulder heads forward from chest from the Hex, collarbone rolling forward even as you pull. Soft chest. And if you're really engaged, soften your pull. Feel your back release more when you do. And then roll it up. Okay. Let's grab your orange bolster. Move your blocks. Orange bolster under the left. Okay. All right. And then go ahead and lay down. Pick up the hips, bring your bolster underneath the hips. Upper back is on the ground. Bolster is pretty high up. It should be under the lowest floating rib and all the way down to tailbone. Shoulders apart on the mat. Chin down, neck long. Arms up. Bring one leg in at a time. Hands come inside the legs. If you're pretty tight in the hips, you can take regular happy baby. So hands come on top of the feet and hold outer feet. Turn feet out, elbows inside of shins. And keep it wide, open. Let all the weight come into the chest and upper back. If you're more flexible, your hands can come underneath the heels and cup the heels 
Keep feet turned out and heels reaching up, toes down. So you've got a nice little round handle in that heel. Whichever one you're doing, let go of the right leg. Bring your right foot to the mat with knee bent. All the way to the mat. If it doesn't touch the mat, you'll need a block there. Right arm up. Tip left a little bit. So your left knee, left tip, tip more toward the ground. Keep the right shoulder drops to the floor. Slowly lower the right arm back, palm facing in. Then slide your right leg forward. You'll feel your left heel get heavy in your hand when your right leg comes off the mat and reaches forward a little. Keep that left hand working. Keep your left foot up. You can't let that knee bend like that. There we go. Good. That's your handle. If you pull that right knee, right hip back, the left, or sorry, left knee, left hip back, the right leg jumps up a little. If you keep elbow pinning the knee or shin out to the side, you can let the right hip hang away from the left. When you're getting real flexible, you use right quad to straighten the bottom of the leg up and reach for it. Breathe. Keep your left foot flexed so heel is up into your left.